Now the next thing is to upload the image to the Firebase storage and then save the image information alongside with the sign off form information to the real time database. So for that purpose first of all as you know that when the user click on the button sign up first we check the network okay if the network is okay then we call the sign up form validation well we will not call it from here now okay just remove this from here now the next thing that we will check first is to upload image so we will say upload image to upload image to storage so we will call this implement this method here okay we will implement this method here and we are calling this method from here after checking the network connection and one more thing which we will do is before calling this method we have to add a condition and we will check if the image file is not equals to null that is if the image is choosed successfully only then call this method okay and then we can in the else statement we can tell to the user that is c methods dot display snake bar and we will tell to the user please choose image first okay now let's implement this method it will be asynchronous we will create a reference to the storage okay and it is firebase storage this one okay and the reference will be reference images reference image and then we can say firebase storage dot instance dot dot reference dot child inside the storage we will create a folder by the name images and inside this images folder we will uh, to this images folder we will basically put our file and each image will be recognized by its own ID so we can say dot child and here we have to provide a unique ID so what we can do we can say string and it will be image name or image ID okay I will give it name as image ID name so you can understand it okay and the for the ID name we will use the dead time as you know time once passed can never be recalled so we can use that time string as a unique key or you can say as a unique ID name for our image so we can set that time dot now dot milliseconds since epoch dot to string so inside the images folder inside the storage firebase storage we each image we will save by its unique id name so for example you can say image id name so now using this reference image we can put our file which is the image file so we can say put file now to this put file we have to pass our image file in file format but if you see here our image file is x file okay which is uh, from the image picker so first we have to make sure to convert our image x file to file format so for that we can use file this one okay dot io and here we can say image file null check dot path just like this so we upload our image file at this reference that is inside the images folder it is saved by this name then what we need is we also need the download URL of this image file when an image is uploaded to the storage then as, as a result we get the download URL using which we can access this image file so in order to get the download URL first we will assign this to our upload task in order to check when it is uploaded successfully okay so we can say upload task and then 
what we can do now is using the task snapshot snapshot we will wait that is when the upload task is completed successfully so what we can do we can say wait upload task and then after it you can say wait snapshot and we are going to get the download URL so we can say get download URL that is when the image is uploaded successfully then from that snapshot we can get our download URL of the image now once we get that download URL then we have to get it and assign it to a variable so we can say URL of uploaded image okay just assign that download URL to the string type variable and of course we have to initialize this variable above here just like this okay and remove the string from here we will make sure that we set the state for URL of uploaded image okay that is the when the URL is assigned to our this variable we just want to make sure that the updated value we get inside URL of uploaded image variable that's why we add this variable inside this set state anyways after that once we have the URL of uploaded image the next thing is to call our method which is sign of form validation so we will call that from here 